it's often been a bit of a challenge to try and build multimedia elements around a story that that very heavily relies on a text backbone. As storytellers, we've always been grappling with is how much multimedia is is good. Uh, how much photography do we introduce um, into a story that's that's very text heavy? What I think really worked for uh, Welcome to Beautiful Foxburg um, was that I don't think they tried too hard. And it's detailing the context, the environment, the politics of the community, um, and a number of individuals who um, who work for DuPont uh, within this community and who were victim to, uh, I guess you call it poisoning that had happened through the products and the chemicals of um, the manufacturer. Uh, I, I think that... It's it's got some good choices of archive in this piece. I think that um, uh, it sets the scene, particularly at the top when you're at chapter two with Plastic Man. Everything in the world, you know, is made up of molecules, and some of the most useful are those that form versatile plastics, like Alathon, Delrin, Lucite, Teflon. I think the the powerful thing here is the core story, the fact that they unearthed this story. In this, in this place in West Virginia where people were really affected by DuPont and, and what had gone on there for so long. To me, the most powerful parts of the project were, you know, of course, the written narrative. It's a long written piece, but they had short uh, video interviews. And, you know, these were with some of the, the victims, essentially. You were able to sort of really understand or, or get a sense of the pain uh, that they had to go through because of the slip-ups that, that DuPont made. Again, I don't think they tried very hard to sort of to, to follow these people or tell the story of their lives. Um, they were, the, the videos worked because they were just able to focus on um, on something that, that would be very difficult to, to explain in text. It's, it's difficult to capture emotions often in text and, and, and visuals and, and images and video often are the most effective way of doing that. And, uh, and they focused on that. So I think as you go through the piece and, you, and, and as a viewer, you sort of realize, my God, what has DuPont done? I think essentially at the end of the day, this is a very good example of top investigative journalism uh, coupled with media to tell a very, very compelling, important story. And it reminds me of some films I'd seen at the Tribeca Film Festival or, you know, social justice films that really leave their mark and give you detailed enough information that you feel satisfied that you've been exposed to a story and you've been very well led through a story. Um, and that's just an example of very, very fine journalism. When I think back on everything that's happened, it's very sad and I get sick because there's been a lot of people die.